the so-called stiletto murderer, fighting to stay out of prison for the rest of her life. The Houston mother who asked the same jury that convicted her to show her some mercy now. She claimed a, a high heel was the only thing she had to defend herself against an abusive boyfriend, but now the jury has spoken and it seems clear that they did not buy her story. ABC's Ryan Smith has more on their sentencing decision. We, the jury, having found the defendant guilty of murder. Murder with a stiletto, walking Anna Trujillo into prison for life. Trujillo stunned and crying as a Houston jury took just a few hours to sentence the 45-year-old mother of two for killing boyfriend Stephen Anderson by stabbing him with the shoe's five-and-a-half-inch heel 25 times. The jury seemingly unmoved by Trujillo's pleas for mercy and likely swayed by prosecutors' closing arguments. She's crazy, but scary crazy. Anything less than a life verdict is unacceptable. Just days earlier, Anderson's ex-wife hoping for the maximum penalty when we spoke to her at the courthouse. If ever a case deserved the death penalty, this is it. Trujillo testified in the penalty phase for over five hours, at one point grappling with her attorney to show her version of the deadly night. To the end, she steadfastly denied murdering her lover, claiming it was self-defense. The prosecution succeeded in convincing this jury that she was the aggressor, not the victim. These jurors were pretty quick to come back and say, we think she's responsible. But with a mandatory 30 years before eligibility for parole, when she will be 75 years old, Trujillo won't be walking on pumps anytime soon. Anderson's family pleased with the jury's decision, but anxious to put the ordeal behind them. He didn't deserve what happened to him. Justice is served. For Good Morning America, Ryan Smith, ABC News, New York.